ready? Alright, action. <laughs> action. Okay. As loud as you can. And rolling. Action. <laughs> Action. One, two. One, two. Center. I'll just yell action and then count to three and then start, okay? Alright, action! Oh my god, have you seen Code's new post? He is so hot. Oh my god, yeah, I might ask him to the dance this Friday. Wait, you're asking him to the dance? Yeah. No, I'm asking him to the dance. As if he would go with you. He'd rather drop out of school than ever be seen with you. Hey babe, we stalling for the dance tonight? Alright, alright, cool. Bye. Love you.
Give me all your valuables. You're being mugged. I don't have any money on me right now. My mom forgot to give me my allowance this week. Give me your phone then. My phone? It's all I have. Please don't take it from me. I said, give it to me. All right. Ew, is that an Android? That's disgusting. iPhones are clearly better. Excuse you, that's because y'all are basic. I will not confirm to this iPhone using society of a world. Androids are just better. No, they're not. iPhones are just better. Everyone has an iPhone. What are you talking about? That is so gross. Is that a Nerf gun? What are you, 12? Is that an Android? <laughs> Losers. <laughs>
I'm all in. Hey guys, for this assignment, I will be talking about sleep benefits 101. Getting enough sleep increases your health, mood, and... Oh. This is I wanted a haircut. I was sitting there, miserable at my own party, and all I could think about was getting a haircut. A mullet, maybe? Michael had a mullet. He had great hair. Do you think I'd look good with a mullet? I don't know if it would suit you. Because like they're not like how no, good with the sun. No, but you have to. The plumber took two hours and four hundred twenty-five dollars to fix the sink. They charge twenty-five extra on Saturdays. are at the underground on Friday. Remember how fun it was last time? When was the last time? I'll see what I'm doing Friday. C can I come? <laughs> you like the cult classics? No, I've never really listened to them before. You're playing your song. It's your favorite. I'll go turn it off. You saw this very exciting adventure story about a rock and a shoe. Why do we never spend time in your backyard? It's not usually this nice. My mom cleaned. How is she? I haven't seen her in ages. She misses you. You never come around anymore. <laughs> she never liked me. I can never get past this part. Do you know how it ends? I... I don't like it. Is that why you told it differently? It sounds better. For you?
Get the mullet. You look nice either way. Are you sure the party's on my side? The party has already decided you will be the next king. Just lay back and relax. Hello, my fellow citizens! Aren't you guys tired of your ripe old banana peels? It's time for a new skin! And do not fear because Ben is here! For an appealing time, vote for Ben! People of the Banana Kingdom, I've come here to represent you all. What we need is a trade! Here, here, the results of the election are in. The winner is... Bob!
Don't you remember? It's your favorite. Plain oats, no milk, and hot chocolate. Oh, fuck! You never seem to learn, do you, Chuck? Chuck, don't do this. I don't have a choice. Choosing to do nothing is still a choice after all. Just stay where you're safe. Let's take a look at the unique bonding of blues, purples, and yellows in this harmonic composition. Notice the beautiful complementary between purple and yellow, creating a natural symmetry that soothes the soul. The unity created from these exquisite and graceful colors showcases the spiritual connection between the contrast of light and dark. Unless we are talking about a punch to the face.
Get ready for a wonderful day. As always, here's today's sponsor. Today's school day is brought to you by the one and only TikTok. Good morning, class. As you all heard, today's sponsor is TikTok. one heck of a class, huh? Hey, can you hear me? Hello? sponsor is Amazon.
Good morning, everyone. Make sure to plug in and get ready for a wonderful day. Hi, Ivy. I heard what happened. I'm really sorry. Come on. Anyway, this is all the material you missed last week. I expect you to review it for tomorrow as there's a unit test. Do I have to write it tomorrow? Mm -hmm. As in 24 hours from today? Mm -hmm. Ivy, I'm so sorry about what happened. I just hope you know that she's at least in a better place now, and at least you made some good memories with her. But I'm not even sure how you're in school right now. I'm sorry, Ives. We were just leaving for lunch. Did you want to come sit with us? Oh, I don't think I will. Come on, Ives, just come on. Ives, why aren't you eating? Oh, I'm not that hungry. I can't believe I just asked you that. You're probably too sad to even pack a lunch for obvious reasons. Let me buy you something. Anything. I'm okay. Thank you, though. Anyways, James is having his birthday party next weekend. Not sure if you remember. Are you still gonna go? Personally, I think you should. It'll be good for you. Have some fun, you know? Yeah. Party girl eyes can make a comeback. It'll be so fun since you're my favorite party girl. Ice cream. Wait! <coughs> it's December.
I was a moving thing before I was a human being I was the ice before it melts I was the tree before it fell My dear, come near Do you understand what is happening? Crawl beneath the earth to feel the hunger and the thirst If you could fly and be the bird Then you would see the forest burn My dear, come near Do you understand what is happening? Mm. Stood and somehow calm within the madness of a storm With no solution for the scare Tasting pollution in the air My dear, come near Do you feel my hand? It is there Side. I would like to thank you all for electing me school president. However, I cannot be happy with the current state of our school. Vandalism is everywhere, spray paint on the outside walls, the toilets are flooded, drugs are done and dealt with in this school, and the violence is rampant. Last week someone was stabbed. This has to stop right now. And that is why, from this day forward, there will be many new changes. I will not let these troublemakers ruin our school. We will make Woodside better. Thank you. You did great, Robert. Did you like the defiant tone that I wrote in? I loved it. Thank you, Catherine. I'm going to need you to gather everyone on student council. Everyone. Now.
Good job on the assembly yesterday, guys. Uh, let's finalize everything. First was the hallways. They were in disarray and needed reform. The walls were the worst part. Don't get me wrong, I've always appreciated art. The kind that belongs in museums. But this, this was an art. This was vandalism. Finally, the bathrooms. A hub for hallway cruisers and drug dealers. I had to handle it. I love Woodside, and it deserves better. Good morning, Woodside. I would like to thank you all for cooperating with the school to implement these new changes. I know it's been tough, but I am proud to say the school has been free of violence, vandalism, and drug use for the past 30 days. This isn't really how I was expecting to spend my Friday night. School's quietest on Friday nights. Listen. <laughs> I guess you're right. Come on, let's get out of here. No, it's, it's not I have a problem talking to people, I have a problem talking with people. You're not having a problem right now. You sound like my mom. Well, your mom is a smart woman. Yeah, yeah, she, she was. But hey, I, I got my dad, and he's fun to talk to. So, you do talk with someone. Yeah, I, I, I guess I do. How's school? Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. I saw your math test. Yeah, I mean, I, I got an 85. It's, it's not great, but... 85s don't get into Harvard, Robert. I, I know, it's just... I, I've 85s been... are nobodies. <sighs> Do you know how hard I've worked to give you this? To give you everything. And now, you're throwing it all away. I told you I'm busy. Do better. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Anyone that gets into a fight, we should give them an immediate suspension. Get all the troublemakers no, out of school. No, no, no. You see, we should encourage good behavior more instead of just punishing wrongs. But the problem with that is... Robert, can I see you in my office, please? Yeah, sure. So, no incidents in 30 days, record school GPA increases, and uh, development of several new learning tools, all in the span of a month, Robert. I'm quite impressed. Thank you. However, now, there are some things uh, that we have to discuss. Uh, I have several reports over here that tell me that you installed security cameras in the school washrooms. Well, the washrooms are used most for legal activities, as no teachers or cameras are allowed in. Yeah, well, I understand that, Robert, but this is simply unacceptable. I've had the cameras removed, and... Uh, you know, you've done some great things around this school, but uh, consider this a formal warning. Uh, we're not going to see anything like that again, are we? Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Mr. Willis was the one person who had more power in Woodside than myself. And if I didn't change that, everything was bound to fail.
Every computer kid is looking for an opportunity to hack. And before I knew it, I had access to every computer on the school network. Turns out Mr. Willis wasn't paying for all his vacations to Mexico out of pocket. And with that, Mr. Willis's power was gone. I can't believe it! What? It's the city news! It says they've seen the positive work done at Woodside and want to interview the student council about it! Th that's great! Yes! Say yes! Guys, there's a fight in the hall. Max, you all argue with the other guy and you start hitting him. Take him into the room and let the other guy go. I don't want anyone to say a word about this to anyone. Where's Kathleen? If any teacher asked, there was nothing but a misunderstanding here. Wait, wait, please, please. All right, all right, I'll, I'll take the suspension. Just, just please, just let, just let me go. Hit him. What do you mean? Do it. I'm not gonna hit him. I'm on the side. <laughs> do better. After that day, I never saw Max at school again or outside of school either. That was when I knew I had full control. Woodside High School has recently taken a turn for the better after electing student president Robert Stevens, who has kept the school incident free for three months. You know, thank you for interviewing me today. Something I want to say is the reason this school has been incident free for the last 30 days is because of the changes I've made that have been fundamental to our salvation. And I truly believe other schools in the area should try the same. Back to you, Marco. You're the first Woodside student president to get interviewed by the news, and we got another interview later this week. Yeah. You, you know, Catherine, you've been really helpful with all of this. I, I couldn't have done it without you. Well, you did most of it. I just sort of wrote it down. Yeah. Hey, look, considering I am graduating next year, I, I want you to be the president. Really? Oh, of course. I'll still need to get elected, though. <laughs> Who cares about elections? <laughs> I know what you did, Robert, with Max. With all your grand intelligence, I never thought you'd be dumb enough to beat up a kid in front of a bunch of student council members and then expect none of them would tell. Did you forget about this? I have to go now. <laughs> Think I give a damn about a piece of paper? I'm not gonna let you beat up kids at my school. I'm tired of your shit, Robert. I'm going to the board and they'll be going to the police. I have presidential duties to attend to, if you'll let me. Go ahead, good. You won't have any presidential duties soon. I couldn't let him ruin everything. I couldn't. You'd be surprised what troublemakers will do to a principal's car for a few hundred dollars and the removal of their suspension records. I know 
he will be truly missed forever within our Woodside community. I was the omnipotent god of Woodside. No one could stop me, and soon I would control more than just a school. I know Robert can be a bit of an asshole sometimes, and maybe that's why he's never gotten close to anyone. Sure, he takes all the applause for my hard work, but for a time I called him a friend. Now, I'm not so sure. You all right? Yeah, just tired. You know, the speech you wrote for me today was amazing. I, I got some great plans for the grad trip in here. Robert. I know. I know. Know what? What are you talking about? Mr. Willis, I overheard everything. I underestimated you. Here's what's going to happen. You're, you're turning yourself in and confessing to everything. You, you murdered him. Prove it. I wanted to make Woodside better, just like you did. But beating students? Mr. Willis? You've taken this too far. You don't understand the sacrifices I've made to fix this school. And that's why I'm the president and you're a speechwriter. And that's all you ever will be. Now move. The president said move, and that means the vice president moves. Get off of me! Robert? Robert? Get up! Oh my god. What should we do with the body, President? President? Good afternoon, Woodside. Robert was many things to many people. He was a friend, a son, and a school president. For me, he was my mentor, and I couldn't have helped Woodside without him. I know he will be truly missed forever in our Woodside community.
have noted that I have a pressure I'm dealing with. Stefania! Mom can't take much more. Shut it, Anne! Don't you dare speak us that way! It ain't my damn fault pile up to nothing. I can like a fuck up for once! I can run this place better than you ever could! Yeah? Try with that gambling ears. See how long it lasts. She called me while I was at work. Yeah, try showing up to a Thanksgiving every once in a while. Kurt, don't think for one second. No, come on, I didn't mean it like that. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, Kurt, one second, I'll call you back. Hey, cut that out! Can we stop the fighting? Handle things civilly? This ain't how we handle this sort of thing where I'm from. <laughs> Mr. Cowboy, I don't know where you're from, but here we don't just punch people over disagreements. This ain't just some sort of disagreement, lady. He pointed a magic devil box at me. The phone? It's a phone. Can't hurt you? Come on, you're making a fool out of yourself. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm real grateful you stepped in the way you did. I met a suck fella. I wasn't thinking clearly. Oh, um, I hate to bother you twice, but if you begin... Well, I'm dealing with my own man-child at home right now, and I don't think I can handle another. Man-child? Listen, lady, I'm in a tight spot here. So what is this? Are you some sort of method actor or something? Acting? I ain't acting anything. Where's your horse then, Mr. Cowboy? At home, where I'm supposed to be. Look, here are my folk. <sighs> There's Ma and Anne and Corey and my old man. Fine, what's your name? Or do I keep calling you Mr. Cowboy? Colt. Colt Booker. Booker Ranch. My name is Alice. Alice Katz. Look, if I'm going to help you, I have demands. No fighting and no being dumb. Clear? Clear as rain on a summer's morning. Come on, focus. Is this the same photo? After the passing of Dan Booker and the disappearance of his eldest son, Colt Booker, Cory Booker took the reins for the beloved family ranch. But recent evidence points to the family's bankruptcy 
being attributed to his own embezzlement of family fortune before skipping town. That lion, no good scheming son of us! Shh. And Ma? Does it say what happened to them? Sometimes you get. And sometimes you get got. What? No! Can you just think of anything that might have caused this to happen? Wait, wait, wait! Shh. Did I... Is it broken? Well, I'll be. What is it? It moved. It's a clock. They move. Not like this, they don't. And it wasn't moving before. What in the witchcraft is going on here? Witchcraft? I thought Cat was hated magic. Well, maybe we can get a witch to help us. Who is this fella Craig? Is this devil box gonna help? And why is his list so important? Colt! I ain't dealing with no witch, and I ain't getting eaten by an even bigger devil box. It's just an elevator. It's not going to eat you. Can you be any less stubborn? This witch is gonna help me get you home. This devil knows what got me here in the first place. You said you'd do anything to save your family, right? Well, seeing this witch is the anything. And besides, if I could go back and stop my brother from being an idiot, I'd take that chance. It's a thumbs up. It means everything is going to be fine. Trust me, remember? Ah, you must be the cowboy lost in time. What in time, nation? Psychic sweetie. You look like you've had a long day, dearie, so that'll make you feel better. Is this some sort of witch's brew? No, dear, just some of my life's special herbal tea. Warms the soul. <sighs> hmm. Must be a conduit. The soul clings to it. Where did you get this? I ain't telling you. That's not helpful, Colt. Fine. It was my old man's. Ah, must have his wishes embedded. Wishes? Wishes to send me away? No, no, it's more than that. You're running out of time. Pardon? This watch shows how much time you have left. <laughs> but I can't disappear. I have to make things right. Everyone is depending on me. If I can't make things right, then everyone I love is as good as gone. Trust the watch's wishes. Damn this watch and his wishes. If I'm going to die, I'm taking these with me. Uh, thanks for the help, I guess. Do you take Venmo? I'm sorry I couldn't help you, Colt. Kurt, now's not the no. time. Take it. Because you never know if it'll be the last time.
cima. It's closed. I'm sorry, I guess we're too late. I couldn't even say my last wishes. Well, you best be going now. It's getting late. Are you sure? Corey? Anne? If you're out there, I'm sorry. If I could take it back, I would. I'll see you soon. Clint Eastwood never wore anything like this. Hey, who? That's right. You haven't heard of him yet. Marty, you have to wear the boots. You can't wear those futuristic things back in 1885. You shouldn't even be wearing them here in 1955. All right, Doc, look, as soon as I get there, I'll put them on. Okay. I think one of Excuse me, are you Alice of uh, Alice Katz? Who's asking? My name is Kathy Booker. An old relative of mine wrote this, and it's been passed down for generations. I never thought it'd get delivered, but when I moved into this neighborhood and saw your name on the mailbox, I... Is it from Colt Booker? Dear Alice, guess what? I'm alive and well. Well, I'll be long gone when you get this, but I managed to make it. That old lady with the magic was right. The watch wanted me to open my eyes. I was never good with using words, but I'll sure trap for you. Everything is just fine at the farm. I've made sure to keep Corey on a straight and narrow, and he with me. He ain't doing no more running, and neither am I. You know, I think I had one of the wildest adventures a old cowboy could ever have. But after seeing what's ahead, if the future has any more generous people like you, I think my family will be all right. I hope you and your brother are well. If you haven't seen it already, I gave you a pocket watch. I don't need it no more. Plus, it ain't the clothes that makes the cowgirl. It's the attitude and the heart, which you got plenty of. So keep doing. Thank you kindly. Cole Booker, P.S. Thumbs up. Thank you.